I'm sorry, I already mentioned that it was going to be 15 minutes. We're at the 20 minute mark, so I got to I got to finish. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm well. I mean, I'm still going to go over it. It's not like I'm not saying I'm not going to go over it. I just don't have time to continue up with this because I have half the class that is talking and done, and the other class is still working on it. So again, as I mentioned through the last problem, the main important thing I like you guys to do is break this up into into three problems: 24 over 4 times. Again, guys, it doesn't matter if you rewrite this. 3 times 2 times 1 or 2 times 3 times 1. You break this up into x cubed divided by x to the 7th times y to the negative second divided by y to the 5th. That's y to the negative second divided by y to the 5th. You just write the x's with the x's because remember what Crystal said? You know, She asked, can you do them when they're different, right? What if there's a 3 and a 2? No, the 3 and the 2, the bases were not the same. Guys, you can't combine x's with y's. You can only use the rules of exponents for x's with x's and y's with y's. Does that make sense? So now, do we know 24 over 4? 4, but I'm going to write it as a fraction, OK? Just for right now, just so I know where my fractions are. I'm going to write it as 6 over 1 rather than just 6. The next thing, the remember, remember how we showed this. This is going to become x to the 3 minus 7 times y to the negative 2 minus 5. Now remember, those are all represented in the numerators. Okay, When you subtract them, you're subtracting them as in the numerator. Therefore, I now have 6 over 1 times what is x to the 3 minus 7 is x to the negative 4th times what is negative 2? If you owe me $2 and then you borrow five more dollars, you now owe me three, seven. 7. So your first answer could look like this. 6. Now, obviously, guys, do we need to write the numerator all as 1? That's a y, sorry. Oh, Jake just pointed you out. How do you feel? So we can all write this, ladies and gentlemen, as we could all write this as 6 times x to the negative 4 times y to the negative 7. You could write it over 1 if you want to, but do we ever? But here's the important thing. Can we write them with negative powers? No. If we're writing them with negative powers, they have to be in the other denominator. So if they're in the numerator and they're negative, they now have to be in their denominator. So my final answer is 6 divided by x to the 4th, y to the 7th. Okay. No, that problem is like a 